Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned about potentiometer. We know it is used for the accurate measurement of EMR. In this video, I will show you how to use a potentiometer to compare the EMR of two cells. I have connected the potentiometer to compare the EMF of two cells or power supplies. For that, I have connected the ends of potentiometer wire to a regulated power supply, a plug key and a rheostat in series. This forms a primary circuit. This end of potentiometer is connected to a jockey via high resistance galvanometer and DPDT switch. DPDT stands for double pole, double throw. It is used in the circuit to include Daniel cell or Leclanche cell. This forms a secondary circuit. Now I turn on the circuit. I include Leclanche cell with the help of DPDT switch. Before going ahead, I check whether the connection made is correct or not. For that, I press the jockey at one end of the potentiometer wire. When I do so, Gamera shows deflection towards this side. Now I press the jockey at the other end of the potentiometer wire. Now deflection is seen in the opposite direction. This ensures that the connection made is correct. Now we will find out the balancing length for Leclanche cell. So I press the jockey at the center of first segment. Deflection is seen in this direction. Now I press the jockey in the next segment. Deflection is observed in the same side. Then I press the jockey in the third segment. Once again, deflection is seen in the same side. Okay, now it has got reversed. Now I will move the jockey towards one side. At this particular point, the potentiometer reads zero. This is the balancing length. I repeat once again. This balancing length is taken as L1. Now include Daniel cell in the circuit. I repeat everything once again. To find the balancing length, I press the jockey at the center of first segment then I go to the second segment afterwards to the third segment the deflection has got reversed so I move in this direction nothing happened so I am going back to the second segment. At this point, the galvanometer shows zero deflection. This is the balancing length L2. Here I have drawn the circuit diagram to compare the EMF of two cells. For that, the potentiometer CD is connected to a battery and a key. In a series, it forms a primary circuit. 
whereas point C of protection turbine is connected to jockey via high resistance galvanometer and DPDT switch. Here DPDT switch stands for double port double through switch. This forms a secondary circuit of potential meter. So the two ends of a DPDT switch is connected to primary cell Xi1. The Xi1 is the EM of the primary cell. And another end of a DPDT switch is connected to one more primary cell with EM of Xi2. Now, I include primary cell with the EM of Xi1 to the secondary of the circuit. After doing so, when I move the jockey at one point, Gardner shows null deflection. So we call the length of CJ as balancing length. And it is found to be equal to Xi1 equals to IRL1. Here L1 is the balancing length for primary cell whose EMF is Xi1. To find the EMF of another cell, I include this cell in the secondary circuit with the help of the DPDT switch. Now again, I repeat the same method. I move the jockey on the potentiometer wire CD at one point. The galvanometer shows zero deflection, null deflection at that point. The balancing length is found to be L2. So according to the principle of potentiometer, the EMF of that cell that is Xi2 is equal to I R L2. Now for convenience I take this as equation number 1. This is taken as equation number 2. I am going to compare 1 and 2. Comparing 1 and 2. I divide 1 by 2. Z1 upon Z2. The terms on the left hand side. IRL1. And here is IRL2. Now I cancel similar terms. Get cancelled. And R get cancelled. Here I is the current flowing through potentiometer wire. And small r is resistance per unit length. And L1, L2 is the balancing length. So the above equation Z1 upon Z2 is equal to L1 upon L2. This expression gives the comparison of EMF of two cells. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.